What is up guys, welcome back to another episode. As you can see in the thumbnail, we're talking Oilers. Uh, it's game five tonight, Oilers, Los Angeles Kings. It's gonna be a good one. Uh, I kinda just wanna talk about what happened in game four and uh, you know what to expect uh, tonight. So uh, if you're new to the channel, please feel free to leave a like, that is awesome, and uh, subscribe, it's free, might as well. Uh, yeah, so series is tied 2-2. So the Edmonton Oilers have outscored the opposition, the LA Kings, 17-10, and yet the series is still tied. Yeah, you look at that and you're kinda thinking like, what the heck, but uh, it's kind of one of those things I wish we, you know, we saved like five goals that we had in the six uh, nothing win. So we could just win one nothing. And then if we could use those five goals against uh, the Kings in our four nothing loss, uh, then we would have won that one five four. That's kind of doesn't really make sense, but that's the way I like to think of it sometimes. I just wish we would choose our goals wisely. And uh, we kind of used all of them in game three and uh, game two for that matter. Eight, uh, 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 two and six nothing. So um, yeah, the series is still tied. Uh, why did we lose game four? A lot of people are asking this. Well, we weren't ready. You know, LA, they, they came out guns blazing. Uh, clearly they, uh, Todd, uh, roll Todd. I can surmise it all up for you. We can all go home. Um, we weren't any good. We were really disappointed. We got trapped playing their game. You can ask me about individuals. I'll give you the same answer for all of them. They weren't any good. Yeah, so clearly he wasn't happy. Um, they needed to be humbled, honestly. You know, after going up 6 nothing and then 8-2, uh, you know, that's like crazy scores against, you know, that's a playoff team, right? So uh, it's kind of crazy, and uh, they needed to be humbled, and rightfully so they were. Um, they kind of got, you know, shot down to, to earth, and uh, it, it was needed. But, um, you know, I, I do think the Oilers are going to bounce back from this. They're going to learn from this. It's not something to be too concerned. Um, I, it would have been super nice though to win to go up 3-2 have the series you know potentially done tonight if, if they would you know if they win tonight and then you know off to the next series but uh, that's not the case however uh, you know other reasons I, I do think that they um, kind of lost the other game uh, along from you know or as well as you know not starting on time um, they got away from uh, physicality this is something that's uh, treated the Oilers really well especially in the first you know three games uh, they were kind of crushing. They were kind of crushing. You know, you see Zach Cassian skating down the ice, and uh, you're going to give the puck away, right? So, uh, and that also goes into my next thing, next to no offensive zone time. Um, you think of it, you know, when the Oilers, they have to play uh, physical physically the, uh, in the D zone, right? But when, uh, you know, it, playing physical really benefits uh, the Oilers, especially when they're in the O zone, right? Uh, like I said, if uh, Zach Cassian's skating at you, your jersey, or if you're Stetcher, uh, you're going to give the puck away like as soon as possible, right? So uh, that's kind of my uh, reasoning there. Um, they got away from uh, their physicality. They, they, you know, that treated them super well in uh, game two and three. Um, it just leads to, it generates way, way more chances for them. So here's hoping they can get back to that. I think they will with uh, the Edmonton Oilers crowd, uh, you know, the, the proud and the uh, you know, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good game, and uh, they're they're gonna be rooting the boys on, even if it's just like a little little hit. The crowd will go nuts. So uh, the players will hopefully feed off of that, and uh, that's that's really exciting. So um, yeah. So next to no ozone time, I kind of want to talk about this. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm still recovering <coughs> from COVID, but um, yeah, the. Special teams battle, uh, you know, it's been treating us pretty well the whole series. It wasn't uh, this last game though. The, it, was, it was pretty horrendous. They had a hard time generating any chances if they did. Um, and uh, also that being said, uh, Dreisaitl, he kind of looked flat on the power play. We, we had a hard time even getting into the um, uh, LA zone during the power play. It just, it, it didn't look good. And uh, they actually generated a, a higher chance on the penalty kill than we did on the power play with the breakaway. So that's not good. And uh, give credit where credit's due. Obviously, Quick, he played pretty good. Um, you know, he got his 10th uh, shutout in the playoffs, which is the most uh, shutouts for an American-born goalie in NHL history. So yeah, a uh, little golf clap there. Um, yeah, and uh, he lucked out, obviously. Uh, the Yamo shot glove side when he didn't. I don't know. I don't think he had his glove on then, but um, yeah, it, it, off his shoulder post and then goes down and then Yamo hits the post again. That goes in totally different game. I think it would have been two one if that went in. So you never know what would have happened, but you can't uh, you, know, you can't dwell on the things that didn't happen. You just gotta move forward, right? Right. So um, yeah, it, it, it's too bad, but uh, you know I do think uh, they'll be able to bounce back. Um, what to expect tonight? Well, already kind of talked about it. More physicality. The Oilers are gonna be buzzing. Uh, you know I, they're not gonna you know I, I feel like their approach was they were trying to weather the, uh, the storm. You know the storm being LA. 
and uh, it didn't really do too well. You know, when you're trying to weather the storm, um, <coughs> you know, <coughs> it is good, but at the same time, uh, you want to be generating your own chances as well, you know, because after a while, it's just you're getting pounded and pounded and pounded, and uh, soon you're going to let one in, which is exactly what happened. So they're going to be more. <coughs> I got to take a break here. One sec. Uh, okay, there, a little bit better. Um, rowdy crowd. <coughs> No. <laughs> a few moments later. Uh, rowdy crowd, obviously the Oilers crowd. Sorry, uh, just yeah, like I said, recovering from COVID. Um, the crowd's gonna be rowdy, and I'm super excited for that. Obviously, playoff hockey is uh, in and of itself is you know some of the best. It is. It is honestly the best. You know, playoffs in all sports, hockey is definitely the superior. You know, they're the goat of all playoffs for sure. Um, I envision a close game tonight. Uh, I think it's going to be a one-goal game. Uh, I'd be, I, I think teams, uh, both teams. I don't like to say, I don't like jinxing, but uh, surely I think both teams will score at least two goals, and uh, you know, it's going to be a close game. I think it's going to be a one-goal game. Um, I think we're gonna. We also got away from you know zone time, uh, like I kind of previously mentioned. We're gonna have a lot more uh, zone time in this game. I'm confident about that. Uh, the last game at uh, Rogers, you know, there was like a, a three-minute stretch where Connor or where Leon Zine was out there just destroying, and then uh, um, Connor Zine went out there and did the exact same thing. So, uh, and uh, last last uh, little bit here, players that need to step up. Fogel, he's kind of been pretty invisible, um, which is you know too bad. I think you know he's a physical player, and uh, if you get him going in the playoffs, you know, he, he, I think uh, it could really benefit us, obviously. And uh, Drysun, you know, he hasn't been bad, but he hasn't been, you know, the Hart Trophy winner that uh, he once was, you know, a year ago. So, two years ago. Um, I think Drysun is going to have a really good game today. Uh, you know, he's got like four points, I think, two goals, two assists, something like that, maybe five points. So, um, those two players I'd really, really like to see uh, get going here, especially Drysun. Um, and then as well, Bouchard, he hasn't been bad, but I just want to Bouch bomb so bad. So calling it tonight, Bouch bomb, you heard it here first. Bouch gets on the board, his first playoff goal, I think. So uh, yeah, that's kind of also what I want to talk about. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, Oilers fans. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, the lineups, are you, are you guys uh, keen on the lineups? So one thing I'd really like to say, or C is Yamo up with uh, Kane and McDavid. I think that line has been buzzing every time they've been together. Like uh, like I just said, uh, when Yamo was up there, he hit the post twice, you know? So uh, I'd like to see that, and I think C would benefit more playing the possession and slow, slower paced game that uh, Dreisaitl and Hyman bring. So that's all I got for this episode, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Go others go, and uh, take her easy. Hit that subscribe button, and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.